Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Everybody, my name is Sarah. And I am a movement artist who also works in the mediums of filmmaking and installation. As the artist in residence of Art Starts 2022. Today, I'm going to introduce an activity called Reimagining Our Bodies. While we continue to explore this month's film, Chance. So for this activity that I am going to introduce, reimagining our bodies, this is the supplies that we may need today. First, I have these sheets of colorful papers. You can pick any shades of papers in any sizes, in any materials that you want some markers, also any colors that you like, a dye, very important for our film this month, which is Chance. If you don't have a dye, you can also click the link below this video, which I have inserted a link to a um, online dye where you can click and then it will roll automatically for you. Also have scissors, glue, and tape. And also crayons if you want to get more creative um, in the drawings that we will do later. At the end, I have a big sheet of paper where we will um, assemble our drawings later. Okay, let's get started. Okay, gonna rearrange my desk a little bit. For the first step, I invite you to write down six body parts. Yeah, so it can be 
the faith, uh, your favorite body parts, the body parts that you find more interesting or appealing or anything. So it can go from as big or as small as you would like. So for example, you can have fingernails or the whole hand as one body part, or you can have hair as one body part and the whole torso as another body part. So I'm just gonna write down my six body parts. Six. I have an eye, uh, and a hand, a leg, a head, a nose, and a mouth. After we have our six body parts listed out, I'm gonna take my dice and I'm gonna throw it in the air. Two. We're gonna give each body part a corresponding number. So the first one is two. I'm gonna put number two next to my eye. Whoops, went out of the camera. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but this is a four. Four hands and the next one. Six legs. Alright. One head. Four nose. And one mouth. Okay. So now we have our body parts and their corresponding numbers. The corresponding numbers means how many of the body parts that we will be drawing today yeah so i will be making two eyes four hands six legs one head four noses and one mouth i'm gonna bring back the colorful sheets of paper that i have and i think i'll start with purple i'm gonna draw out two eyes with, let's do red. So, while we are drawing out our body parts, I would like to encourage you to think um, how can we reimagine our bodies, yeah? So an eye doesn't need to be, you know, like a circular shape with eyelashes. Sure, this can be one of my eye, but the next eye I make, maybe it can be in a square. And has eyelashes over. And you can make your body parts as big or as small in any shapes that you want. Yeah. So I have my eyes, two of them, and I'm gonna go to the next one, which is four hands. Four hands. Let's do a normal one first with five fingers. <laughs> Looks like chicken hands. <laughs> okay, and the next one, I'm gonna make a big one, let's say. Big one. And this way. It's like a glove hand. And then one more hand with ten fingers. Let's use another color. How about green? So, one, two, three, we have three hands. We need one more hand. Hmm. Let's do a hand with no fingers. So it's just like this big bulb. Kind of looks like a chicken drumstick. <laughs> okay. And then Next one, we have our six legs. So you see, I'm changing um, the shape of the body parts in various sizes with different colors. And this will all help to make our final composition to be very interesting. Six legs. So let's start with the normal one. Okay, this is the 
black. Maybe we will have to wear the stockings like this. So it has two feet up. Okay. And let's draw a arm sock with a new cap here. Let's go back to the green. Three more legs. Maybe a squiggly like that. that. My feet goes around here. It's a hook. Maybe in 300 years we'll have legs like that. I'm gonna draw a very small like new arm. Like a worm. One head. I'm going to go with something easy for the head. Four noses. Hmm, that one is hard. Let's bring some yellow. Okay. Maybe one day we will have very long nose hair. Actually, have you guys seen that video of a man who has very long nose hairs and he made it into a braid? That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this one. Nose with very long hair that is made into a braid. Okay. And then maybe a nose that only has one nostril. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> Let's scratch that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to make mistakes. And if you don't like something, you can just start over. Switch. Okay. This one kind of looks like a fish. And then one more nose. Oh, this nose one is quite hard. Maybe a side one. Let's see, we have our two eyes, circle eye, square eye with eyelashes all around it. Let's put more eyelashes. We have our hand, four hands, one, two, three, four, legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, one hand, four noses, and one mouth. Okay, let's have brown. Mouth. Okay. A big mouth that goes like this. Okay. Looks a little like a frog. Cool. Amazing. So now we have finished our first step, which is listing our body parts, putting down the numbers, and our second step, drawing all our body parts up. The first step, I'm gonna take a 
our scissors. I'm gonna cut all of our body parts out. Sometimes I don't even remember what this body part is <laughs> because I've made it so abstract, but that is okay. Yeah, that's the fun of this whole activity is that we will make something that we don't even recognize. Slash reimagining our bodies. Whoops. Stick and I believe this is this is a squiggly, squiggly leg. together here with a very big toe. Miss this a small leg, very small leg. Okay. 
looks like a glove. This is a relatively normal, regular pen. work it is to uh, cut. It takes a lot of attention both visually and also uh, physically using all those fine motor skills and fine muscles of your hand. This is a circle eye with three eyelashes and we have a this way because that is too hard. Square eye with eyelashes around it. Beautiful. And on our last page, four noses. The side nose. Kind of looks like. Huh, I don't even know what this looks like. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. What does this nose look like? We have this nose, kind of looks like a fish, like a goldfish to me. Relatively normal nose. And a nose with nose hair. Very long nose hair. space out too. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to start to assemble the body, which I've already done a little bit on this side. 
on each of the body part, I'm going to give it two random numbers, yeah? And how I'm doing, how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use the dice. So I've also already done some of it. This one has the number five and one. And let's do this one. So this is the number five, and the next number is going to be number four, okay? So you can do it, uh, put the numbers on any part of the body part, <laughs> but I would suggest to put it around the borders so that it will be easier when we start to assemble and connect the body together. So let's see which one doesn't have a number yet. Okay, this is very small, like I'm gonna give it another number because it's so small. Number one and number two. Great. And looks like all of my other body parts have numbers. So now what we're going to do is to glue it together, yeah? So as you can see on this um, uh, collage that I've already assembled together, okay? Number two goes with number two behind it, yeah? So basically I just assemble the body parts based on their numbers. So for example, here, number four, and I'll go with number four right over here. So you can put it in any orientation that you would like. So you can go like this, 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 this way, you know. We're gonna start to glue it together. And very important that we are going to have our body parts face downwards. So we don't actually really know what it is unless you have really good memory and you remember what it looks like from the back. But this will make our review at the end much more exciting if we keep it like this way. Okay. And then, let's see. This is a number three. Let's see, okay. This is a number three, I'm gonna put it together. Number one and number five. Is there a number one and number five everywhere? Oh, okay. Number one and number five. And for the assembling part, you can do it in any way you want. You can um, go like me where I start with one collage, I made one shape together, and then I move on to other smaller parts. Or you can keep building on the same one, putting it together. But I would advise to only use each number once, yeah? So for example, this one, number one and number one, it has already been used. I'm not going to put another shape that has the number one right over here, just so we have more connecting points and we can make a more interesting creature. Number four, and number four. Whoops, don't flip it around yet. <laughs> And now we have, okay, this is small, a very small one that I forgot. Number two. Right over here. Great. Now we have four um, shapes, okay, creatures. That doesn't look like they're really going to go together anymore. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to move the shapes to the side and bring out my assemble paper. So I choose the color black 
because I think it will contrast very nicely with the colorful shapes that we have over here. So let's bring out the dice again and see how we should position our creatures on the page. I'm going to divide my page into six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's start with this one. Yeah, like a green squiggly thing and a blue squiggly thing. And let's see which quadrant, which square is going to end up in. Number one, amazing. So I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna put some glue on the back. And flip it over. Nice, actually, actually we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait until the other pieces have to find their homes yet, yeah? yeah? So let's do the big one. Let's do the big one and let's see where this will go. Oh, number one too. Okay, so number one quarter is gonna get a little bit squishy. That's okay. Number five. Number five for this one, let's see. And number one too. Okay, all right, all right. So I actually don't like that it's so squishy over here, yeah? I'm actually going to move the big one to number two. And this is the beautiful thing about using chess is that you are the person who makes the rules, yeah? So anything that doesn't like you, that you don't like and you feel like it doesn't, well, it's not really working anymore. Well, you can change it. Okay, and then from here, I am just going to find some connecting points and I'm gonna glue it on, yeah? I'm actually, yep, this one's already been glued. Gonna flip it over. Okay. some kind of line shape going on right here. Amazing. So, we have our product, which is some kind of collage of color shapes that resembles, you know, one way or another of a body part. This concludes our time for today. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And if you would like to show me what you have made, you can tag me on Instagram. This is my username. Or you can also tag Art Starts. I look forward to seeing what you have made and hope to see you soon.